The Sparks Middle School staff member that is deceased has been confirmed as teacher Mr. Michael Lansbury. When I heard it was her, I just completely broke down because she was one of my favorite teachers. Experts have called violence in the classroom a silent epidemic, one gaining national attention after the deaths of a high school teacher in Danvers, Massachusetts, and a middle school teacher in Sparks, Nevada, a day apart last month. I don't think that we're going to see um, these low incidents of you know, school shootings and the deaths that we're seeing go away until we address really the systemic problem that's, that's creating um, unhappy kids with mental health issues. Dorothy Espledge led a study in 2011 by the American Psychological Association on violence against teachers. Of the 3,000 teachers surveyed, nearly half reported physical attacks. 80% of teachers reported being intimidated, harassed, assaulted, or otherwise victimized at least once in the past year. I think generally what we're seeing is that there's just a lack of respect for teachers in the United States. And it's not just students going after teachers. 40% of the teachers talked about being uh, threatened and being uh, verbally attacked by parents. Dennis Van Rokel heads the National Education Association. He says schools do need security but they also need to be nurturing environments for kids and educators. I think the, the whole attitude in the school is really important in building a discipline, not a punishment system, but a discipline system. In a sign of the times, the National Teachers Hall of Fame recently broke ground on a memorial to fallen educators. Noel Wagner in the Associated Press.